We're talking to Mr. Floyd DuBose, Jr., and the uh, topic is a vision of hope, an organization that he has created to assist young people, primarily in uh, moving forward and uplift. And of course, uh, uh, Mr. DuBose, let me uh, again uh, have you to talk about uh, some of the, what you consider to be some of the solutions, uh, perhaps, uh, to uh, some of the problems. And I think that coming from the corporate environment, you have some special ideas in reference to benchmarking. And let's, let's talk about it from that perspective on how you could uh, introduce that into what you're doing now. Okay, uh, what we've done, uh, we've tried to look at, to utilize the benchmarking process, we look at several other organizations in several other cities mm -hmm. to see what they were doing because the universal problem that we're dealing with is mm -hmm. not Nashville mm -hmm. specifics. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do is come up with a program, mm -hmm. uh, come up with an organization that wears the policies mm -hmm. It, and procedures that we're trying to institute mm -hmm. here in Nashville, but Vision of Hope, they will be universal. They work everywhere mm -hmm. because it's a every universal, uh, universal problem. Uh, the uh, areas are the cities that that I'm primarily benchmarking: now in Chicago, mm -hmm. uh, Atlanta, mm -hmm. uh, Akron, Ohio, uh, Cincinnati, mm -hmm. and. Mouthport, Mississippi, mm -hmm. because we have a have a problem there, and I have people that I communicate with mm -hmm. on a weekly basis, mm -hmm. and we kind of look at measurements where mm -hmm. we are, where we need to go, and what we're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, this so happen one case, you know, I'm I'm a results driven guy, and that's what I kind of uh, learned from the corporate mm -hmm. uh, s uh, situation. Uh, I have a nephew that's handling a program in Atlanta, Georgia, mm -hmm. and we discovered that all kids are not academically sound. Okay. They're not going to be college mm -hmm. material. They're not going to college. Mm -hmm. So I'm a firm believer in reintroducing mm -hmm. the vocational trade system mm -hmm. back into mm -hmm. our education process. Mm -hmm. So just so happened, he came here to visit me in Nashville, and we visited the Auto Diesel College. Mm -hmm. uh, he had three or four students who were not doing well in school at all. So we kind of partnership a little bit mm -hmm. with the Auto Diesel College here in Nashville, and we got these kids here they're in school right now. Mm -hmm. That's just a case in point that you have to have mm -hmm. several different mm -hmm. outlets. Mm -hmm. And what I've tried to do, and, and you asked a question earlier about sources and partnerships mm -hmm. that, that we've kind of partnership with to mm -hmm. kind of uh, feed a system for us to supply our mm -hmm. kids for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, namely one is the Metropolitan School System mm -hmm. uh, where I sub actively now. I've been doing that for three and a half years. I also use the uh, Department of Children's Service. Mm -hmm. um, my wife and I are, are, are foster parents as well, mm -hmm. and the uh, success story from that, uh, we, uh, we, we took a kid in that was struggling, and the kid was just out and on the street and pretty well lost, which would have been uh, a burden to the government mm -hmm. eventually. Mm -hmm. So right now the kid's on par to graduate this year. Mm -hmm. uh, also, and, 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 and what we've done, my daughter uh, was in school down at University of Southern Mississippi, and the program which we started uh, back in 2005, mm -hmm. was kind of somewhat stifled because I got to the point that after trying to apply for several grants mm -hmm. and I didn't get any grants, I didn't have any financial mm -hmm. contributions coming in and everything was, uh, all the expenses were on me. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I kind of went kind of down for a while mm -hmm. and my daughter moved back to Nashville and we were sitting having dinner one night and she said, Dad, let's talk about vision of hope. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. I said, uh, what do you want to talk about? She said, what we need to do is we need to mm -hmm. come up with five core values, mm -hmm. what we want to work in. We want to take small increments mm -hmm. and we want to refine our processes mm -hmm. to see where we are. And we need a measuring device mm -hmm. to see where we need to go. Do we need to change in the middle of the stream of mm -hmm. what our approach is mm -hmm. because we need to be, and I guess from that point, what happened to me, it gave me a sense of rejuvenation. A oh, new vision. A new vision. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it pushed me right up. So mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of where we are now. And, and I, 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 I like to be able to show value. Mm -hmm. and, I, and if I'm not mistaken, dealing in the school system, I, I read one of their missions. And then one of their missions is to produce productive citizens. Mm -hmm. See, that's what we need to do and instill within our youth. Mm -hmm. And another thing that we need to look at is our teachers. I found a newfound respect for our teachers oh. in mm -hmm. the school system. Mm -hmm. And somehow we miss in the boat because we look as, at teachers and we forget about what their job is. Mm -hmm. Their job is to teach. Mm -hmm. Teachers to teach. So now, in the development stages of our kids to be successful, there are several factors that we're not 
considering. All right. And then we got to mm -hmm. look at parents. Mm -hmm. And parents' job should be parenting. Mm -hmm. And what we're looking for is we're looking at a Walmart concept with mm -hmm. our teachers, one-stop shopping. Okay. We want our teachers to do everything we want them to teach. We want mm -hmm. them to be mentors. We want them to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. We want them to do everything. But we got to kind of look at shifting the responsibility Good. to where, where it really lies. Mm -hmm. So we're going to need support and the continuous support, ongoing support for everybody mm -hmm. to make sure that we reach the ultimate goal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and, and one thing that we did, my daughter and I, we devised a, a, a circular approach. Okay. And right in the middle of that circle, we used one key word, it was proactive. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is use a proactive approach mm -hmm. to stay in front of a situation as opposed to being reactionary. Mm -hmm. Most organizations use the reactionary approach and when you use a reactionary approach there's an additional cost anytime mm -hmm. you use the word re. Yeah, okay. Regardless uh -huh. whether it's rework, redo, rehab, re that's re an additional <laughs> work. Yes. So what we want to do is cut it off and get in front of it mm -hmm. before it happens. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what we are and we had some ideas about what we need to do mm -hmm. to be to, to, to continue to strive and make vision of hope mm -hmm. successful. Mm -hmm. And one thing we came up with a couple of more key words, to be successful, there's two things must occur, mm -hmm. and that's education and discipline. Mm -hmm. Good. People frown on discipline and look at discipline as a uh, corporal punishment, anything, hearts mm -hmm. beating, but discipline is a teaching tool good. to correct an undesired behavior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what that's, discipline That's all is. good and good, that's very good. And mm -hmm. so these are some of the things that mm -hmm. uh, 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 being creative, being mm -hmm. out of the box thinkers, and trying to do things mm -hmm. a little different. Like I mentioned earlier, if you keep doing the same things, and then your results are going to reflect the mm -hmm. input. Mm -hmm. So you got to change. You get the, and you and you get the same thing if the input is the same thing. And you I get think the that same that's thing. Very good. And and I think that one of the most important things now is to find that. Uh, you can uh, find, find that there are more people that are coming out and being committed to some of the things that you're talking about now. And, and, and I think that your vision of hope is the kind of vision that a large number of organizations need. And uh, a lot of them need to be reworked in a real sense. Uh, some of the organizations that I know that are still uh, advertised as organizations helpful, et cetera, but uh, many of them might have uh, become somewhat stale in mm -hmm. terms of their own vision and, and, and I think that they need to be mm -hmm. uh, re, re energized or something mm -hmm. like you know something mm -hmm. like that and I think that what you're talking about mm -hmm. is, is something that can be applied all mm -hmm. over this nation mm -hmm. you said and I think you mm -hmm. recognize that if sure. you can get a good program going here and uh, there's enough uh, financial uh, assistance now in terms of grants and things that are coming from the federal government now that if you can get a good program going here in Nashville, Tennessee called the Vision of Hope, uh, it will certainly capture, as you've already indicated, right. the Chicago's and the uh, uh, L.A.'s and all of those other places that are having the similar kind of problem. Uh, I tell you, Mr. DuBose, we've got about uh, two minutes mm -hmm. before the uh, end of this show for today. Let's give you an opportunity uh, to uh, have these last two minutes for some things that you'd like to say that perhaps sure. uh, you've not had an opportunity okay. to speak to. The one thing I'd like to say, you know, the reason why we didn't, you know, we, we came out of the gate in full throttle. We had to kind of back step due to the come. We were limited as far as financial mm -hmm. and as far as our resources. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and what we kind of like to do, we kind of like to open it up and you, and mm -hmm. you, you touched a very deal subject. You've got a lot of organizations mm -hmm. that are virtually doing the same mm -hmm. thing. And, and what I think these organizations, as well as Vision of Hope, mm -hmm. we all need to get together mm -hmm. and, and, and have some brainstorming mm -hmm. sessions mm -hmm. and, and, and to develop a full circle and everybody, instead of doing the same thing, Mm -hmm. Let's specialize in that Good. separate mm -hmm. entity mm -hmm. that you have the expertise in mm -hmm. and close that gap. Mm -hmm. Because once you've got gaps, you mm -hmm. leave a, a opening there for dangerous infiltration, mm -hmm. whether it's violence, whether it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's crime, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So that's what we need to do, and work collectively as a group. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would be more than glad to sign and talk to anybody so we can kind of network, okay. and we can kind of put all these valuable utilizations together. Mm -hmm. And like I said, one key thing is being able to utilize mm -hmm. the resources Good. and, and mm -hmm. network. Mm -hmm. And I think the resources are here, and uh, the networking can be here if we all decide that we want to work it the same way. And of course, we're uh, nearing the uh, last uh, 30 seconds of this show. And let me thank you for coming by and giving us that excellent information. And we'll be looking for some additional information in reference to a vision of hope. And as you've indicated, that it's not only in Nashville, you hope to carry it all no, over this nation. Right. 
And of course, uh, we'll be back with our audience uh, next week at the same time. And we uh, thank you for watching this morning. Thank you and good morning.